In the previous videos, we showed how to generate systems to calculate the solvation-free energy of ligands. In this and the next videos, we focus on binding-free energy between a protein and ligands. This video covers absolute ligand binding between T4 lysozyme PDBID 4W53 and toluene derivatives. On the RCSB page for this protein, you can see two small molecules, a buffering agent, EPE, and toluene, MBN. We will use the pre-docked toluene structure as a basis to test similar ligands with a longer acyl chain. To get started, go to Input Generator and find Absolute Ligand Binder in the Free Energy Calculator submenu. Please note the software requirements and ensure you have the required software version for a simulation package before attempting to run a simulation. Absolute Ligand Binder can generate inputs for NAMD, Genesis, and Charm. The first few steps of Absolute Ligand Binder involve reading a protein structure. You can upload your own structure or enter an RCSB ID. In another video, we show how to make membrane protein systems for binding free energy calculations, but for this demo, leave the system type as solution. Enter the RCSB ID 4W53 and click Next. Here, we see the chains that were identified by PDB Reader. The engineered residue MBN corresponds to toluene, so we leave that selected. However, we are not interested in the buffering agent EPE, so we deselect it and click Next. On this page, we see the options for manipulating the PDB structure and reading engineered residues. For a more in-depth explanation of how to use the options on this page, please see the PDB Reader video demos. For our case, we can simply leave everything at their default values and click Next. We can see the result of PDB reading and manipulation on this page by clicking View Structure. Notice that the EPE residue is no longer present, but the toluene remains. In any case, it is important to save the job ID so that you can check the job progress using Job Retriever or return to a previous step to modify your options. By default, a water solution is built around the protein, with 10 angstroms between the protein edge and the box edge. If you want, you can increase this distance and also change the ion type and concentration. For our purpose, the default values are acceptable, so we continue by clicking Next. On the next page, we can view the resulting solution system and also view the system size details. If everything was assembled correctly, click Next to set up the periodic boundary conditions and perform a brief energy minimization. When PBC setup completes, we begin the ligand binding steps. If you selected more than one heterogen residue on the first page of PDB Reader, you need to identify one of them as the target ligand. At the moment, only one free energy perturbation method is provided for absolute ligand binder. However, in the future, you may see additional options, and this is where you would select the FEP method. On the next page, we are shown options for uploading or drawing ligand structures, which you should remember from the previous videos. If you have your ligands available in SDF or MULTU files, you can upload them here, and you should indicate whether the uploaded structures are already in their docked position. If your structures are not pre-docked, CharmGUI will attempt to position the ligands for you. Note that the positioning is based on the selected residue, toluene in this case. Thus, if you upload ligands with a very different structure, the positioning may be less accurate. For this demo, we'll click the Draw option to draw the combinatorial structures of the toluene derivatives with different acyl chain length. If the drawing steps are unfamiliar, please see the video demos for ligand reader and modeler. Notice that we still include toluene in the combinatorial structures, even though it is included in the PDB structure. If you omit toluene, then Absolute Ligand Binder will not generate a binding system for toluene. Once the structures are drawn, we click the Next button to see free energy perturbation options. Because we drew structures instead of uploading them, the structure names are automatically generated. To see which structure is represented by a number, click the structure name in the list here. Most options on this page are identical to the options shown in the Absolute Ligand Solvator video demo, with the major difference being a drop-down menu to select the type of restraint to apply to each ligand. Generally, the distance restraint is applied to hold the ligand in a decoupled state. CharmGUI can also provide an additional RMSD restraint for the ligand. And for Genesis, RMSD restraint and no restraint options are provided for MP Cafe. On the final page, we see instructions for running the free energy calculations. Make sure to read them carefully. In the downloaded project archive, 
Notice that there is a number for each ligand binding system in the folder with your simulation package's name. Each of these subdirectories contains a complex and ligand directory, containing the protein ligand complex and ligand-only systems respectively.